Welcome to live coverage of Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. It's Republic and Skyatook, Oklahoma. And we're a little late getting started. They've been playing ball here all day. A JV game earlier, a couple of JV games before this one. There will be another Republic JV game after this one tonight. Republic's JV lost to the Rockbridge Junior Varsity at noon. And then it was Nixa and Rockbridge. Uh, on the JV squads going at it at 2.15. And so a little bit late starting with this one, but uh, weather looks like it's going to at least hold off on the rain for now, although it has cooled off quite a bit. The wind is whipping around, and it might be an adventure for the outfielders, but should be a good game as Skyatook, the Bulldogs, come to town to face Republic. We're going to take a break and be back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnaker Advantage. Tough customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnaker Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnaker family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnakerChevrolet.com. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Hind Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Hind Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Recently, Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing, an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing. Welcome back to Tiger Baseball, Republic and Skyatook, Oklahoma. And let's give you a starting lineup. Starting with Skyatook, they are five and eight coming into this game. Coached by Joe Fairclaw. And here's the lineup for the Bulldogs. Number 11 is Cooper Wood. He will be in left field. Trayvon is the catcher. And bats second, number four. Cole Bray, number 14, will play shortstop and bat third. Jake Blaylock will bat fourth and play second base. He's number six. Number one, Barrett Hinton is the designated hitter in the five spot. Jaden Orth is the right fielder. And will bat sixth. He's number 15. Number 22, Bryson Earp is the first baseman, batting seventh. Braylon Banks is the third baseman, batting eighth. He's number 27. And Cole Smith is number two. He is the center fielder and bats ninth. And Cody Gibson will be pitching for Skyatook and will not bat. 
Ryder Davis will be on the mound for the Tigers, and he's out there as the Tigers' defense has been introduced and taken the field, and we'll give you the defense as soon as we wrap up the national anthem as the rest of the team comes out to the third base foul line, and we'll let you listen in as Ken Kinnearum introduces our national anthem. Thank you. So mentioned that Ryder Davis will be on the mound for the Tigers. And behind the plate, Wyatt Woods, as usual. Third baseman today is Nolan Coble. The shortstop, Devin Hughes. The second baseman is Carter Nation. And the first baseman, Trace Harrington. In left is Brett Hendrickson, center field Garrett Lester, right field Jackson Overstreet, and again Ryder Davis on the mound for the Tigers. Davis finishing up his warm-ups. And the Tigers trying to recover from a tough one last night at Springfield Kickapoo. They played Glendale, a very good Glendale team, and that one went into extra innings, and that's the second extra inning loss of the week for the Tigers. They had lost to Rogersville in eight innings earlier in the week and then lost in eight innings to Glendale. Cade White pitched to Jim, but Tigers just couldn't get over the hump and lost it in eight. Trace Harrington pitched well and released, but ended up uh, suffering a tough luck loss. And so Cooper Wood will lead things off for Skyatook. He's the left fielder, number 11. Stands in there from the right side, and Ryder Davis up on the mound. And here's the first pitch from Davis, and it's low. Next one on the way, and a little grounder, and that is past the third baseman, Coble, and Hughes came in and got it and couldn't quite make the throw in time, so that's a single for Cooper Wood. Watch 
reception. Again, Coble couldn't quite get there. And Hughes unable to make the throw in time. And the bunt popped up back out of play. Strike one. at second base there, trying to be ready for a double play ball. And they do bunt again, and it goes straight back to the screen. That's strike two. It really cooled off, and the wind has picked up since earlier in the day, about 3 o'clock, setting everything up for the broadcast. Felt like it was going to end up being pretty nice. Pitch to the left-handed hitter is grounded softly up the line at first, and it is going to roll foul. Harrington picks it up after it crossed the line. So everybody will reset. Owen to the count to Trayvon. Cooper Wood at first base after an infield single. There's a grounder up the middle, double play ball. Hughes gets it, steps on the back, throws across, and that's a 6-3 double play as Vaughn grounds out to Hughes, and that was easy for Devin Hughes. That's about as easy as a double play ball can be. Hughes had about one step to go to make the play, and they're two gone. Brings in Cole Bray, the shortstop. First pitch just missed, ball one. Fastball is high. Gets past Woods, goes to the backstop. That's ball two, two and oh. Landon Perkins zips in there to pick up the ball from the backstop. In full gear, no less. And there's a little slow roller to Nation over at second base. Gets the high hop, throws him out. And it's three up, three down. But they needed a double play to do it that way. And they get through the top of the first inning without allowing a run. Tigers will come to bat after this timeout. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm Agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about retmo spirit, and we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. Vision Health Eye Center. Outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealthicenter.com. 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. Welcome back. You can probably hear the wind whipping through the microphone. I mean, it is windy. It has really picked up, and if you look, if I move the camera over there, you can see the flag at the top of the scoreboard and how much it's whipping around there. Garrett Lester will lead things off against Cody Gibson. And the first pitch to him is on the outside corner of strike. And 
next one just missed. Evens the count one and one. Gibson, a right-hander, stands in there against the lefty Lester. And an off-speed pitch drops inside. Lester laid off. It's two and one. Check swing. He held up. It's in the dirt. That's ball three. So Lester trying to get on to start the inning. Devin Hughes on deck. Trace Harrington after that. And then if anybody gets on, Jackson Overstreet. Overstreet's been pushed up to the cleanup spot after a fast start to the season. And he takes it inside ball four, and Lester will trot down to first base to lead off the inning. Devin Hughes trying to keep things rolling here in the bottom of the first. No score early. Sky took in Republic. And the first pitch is hammered into center field. Sends the center fielder back. And he reaches up, makes the catch. Lester went halfway. Now he retreats to first. And there's one gone after the fly out by Devin Hughes. Brings in Trace Harrington. Harrington, the first baseman. Hands the bat to Hughes. And Harrington will stand in. Tigers wearing those cream-colored uniforms. Those look pretty sharp. Swing and a miss. Gibson looks in, gets the sign, comes set. Lester is going. And that pitch is a ball. The throw is offline. And Lester slides in safely with a stolen base. And he's at second base with one out. So Harrington's got him in scoring position. Gibson looks back at the runner there. And a swing and a pop-up back out of play into the parking lot. There's a swing and a line drive right into right field. That is going to score Garrett Lester, and it's one nothing as Lester scampers across home plate. RBI single by Trace Harrington. And Republic takes a one nothing lead. And it brings in Overstreet. Balk. So Harrington was sort of over there bothering Gibson. And he gets to advance to second on the ball. And now Overstreet's got a runner in scoring position. Outside corner. Evens the count, one ball, one strike to Jackson Overstreet. Harrington at second base. One out here in the first. Tigers already on top, one nothing, and there's a check swing fouled into the parking lot. That's strike two. Parking lot is a 
about 80% empty. People have a very, uh, very low tolerance for risk uh, regarding their windows around baseball fields. Weak ground ball to the right side, advances the runner. Bryson Earp makes the play unassisted. Overstreet's retired, there are two gone. Now Harrington at third brings in Wyatt Woods. Tiger Manor, catcher number 26, Wyatt Woods. Woods needs a two-out hit to drive in a run and keep this inning going. Takes a ball. Second baseman Jake Blaylock is over there, and there's a hard hit ball. It gets down in left field, and that's a base hit for Wyatt Woods. And his bat has started to wake up a little bit the last uh, two or three games. And that's a welcome development for the Tigers. An RBI single by Woods. He's at first base. Harrington comes in to score, and it's 2 nothing Republic. Brett Hendrickson will bat with Woods at first. Pitch outside, ball one. Woods is fast enough that they don't courtesy run for him, and that leads to a lot of extra time between innings because if he's out there on base when the inning ends, he ends up having to change into his gear starting from scratch, and he slides in safely with a stolen base, and that's why they don't courtesy run for him. Thank you, Wyatt Woods, for illustrating the point. So Woods is down at second base in scoring position for Hendrickson, who's been one of the best hitters on the team so far this season. Batting six in the order today. Playing left field, and he watches that one catch the outside corner. One ball, one strike to Hendrickson. On deck, Cooper Pilkington. And he takes it high, two and one. A fly ball up the line and right. It's going to go foul. Well out of range of any of the fielders who might have wanted to get over there and make a play. And the count's even two and two. Hendrickson waits for the next one from Cody Gibson. And here it comes. And there's a swing and a fly ball into right. Right fielder fights the win, comes in, makes the catch. And that is going to do it for the first inning. But the Tigers scored two runs on two base hits. There was a walk, and they left a runner on base. And after one, Republic leads 2 nothing. We'll take a break and be back with the second inning after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. Two runs. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. Elliott Robinson & Company LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliott Robinson & Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza, across from Pinnegar Chevrolet. Or find them online at ERCPA.com. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports, Join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. 
We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's Far Better Plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's, pizza, pasta, perfection, and Tiger Spirit. Welcome back. Ready to go in the... Second inning, it'll be the four, five, and six hitters due up for Skyatook, Jake Blaylock, Barrett Hinton, and Jaden Orth. And Blaylock will stand in from the left side, second baseman. Facing Ryder Davis out there for his second inning of work. First pitch from Davis is a breaking pitch that drops in there, strike one. Chopper and good play by Ryder Davis. He came in and got it. Laylock retired 1 3. And it brings in Barrett Hinton. down the line on the first base side. You can hear that wind is getting stronger, I think. And I can vouch for the fact that it is also getting colder. There's a swing and a grounder to Hughes. Scoops it up, throws across, and two quick outs here in the second inning. The older that wind gets, the happier I am every time an out is recorded. So two gone, and Jaden Orth will bat, O-R-T-H. First pitch is a strike to Jaden Orth. Five batters, five outs. That includes a double play in the first inning, turned by Devin Hughes and Trace Harrington, 6-3. Second pitch is a strike, and it's 0-2. And Davis trying to finish off this inning and get in out of this wind. And there's a little chopper. Nation comes in and gets it. Kind of took a funny hop off the edge of the grass, but he gets it anyway. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Ryder Davis. Fourth is retired 4-3. We go to the bottom of the second, and it is 2-0 Republic. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit laurieandelizabeth.reesnichols.com, your seasoned real estate teammates. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. 
Your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. Cooper Pilkington bats to lead things off. Got the start today. A designated hitter, and he takes the strike. Well, he checked swing, and they checked and said, yes, he went. Cody Gibson back on the hill for Skyatook, and that one outside. One ball, one strike to Cooper Pilkington. It's Pilkington, Coble, and Ryder Davis due up here in the second inning for Republic. Outside, ball two. And a swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Next one on the way, and a little chopper up the third baseline is foul. Swing and a miss. Pilkington down swinging, and that's the first out of the second inning and the first strikeout recorded by Cody Gibson. Down on strikes for the first out. And it brings in Nolan Coble. Third baseman number one, Nolan Coble. Takes the ball. Next pitch is flied toward the line in right, and it's going to blow 20 feet foul. I think that might have actually dropped pretty close to the line, maybe even fair on another day, but that wind is blowing so hard. It's just right out of out of the field toward foul territory over on that side of the field that it was not even close to landing fair. One ball, one strike. And a chopper up the line, that is gonna go foul. Thought for a second it might hit the edge of that grass in foul territory and roll back fair and Coble wasn't Hadn't left the box yet, but it stayed foul. And just missed outside with a fastball. Count is even, two balls, two strikes. And there's a line drive into right field. That's a base hit for Nolan Coble. So Coble gets the start at third base and promptly singles into right field. And he's at first base with one out for Ryder Davis. Pitcher number two, Ryder Davis. into Davis. Ball one. Garrett Lester on deck. Watches it a little bit low. Ball two. Gets away from the first baseman, and Coble is going to advance to second. And he'll pull in there. Coble down to second. So the error on the Aaron first baseman, first. as he just didn't catch, he was maybe a little bit wide, but tipped off his glove. And I don't know whether they will officially give that to the first baseman or the pitcher. I'm marking it down as an E3. 
And Koble advances to second base. He's there with one away, and Ryder Davis facing a 2-0 count. It's a good opportunity to drive one in and help his own cause for Ryder Davis. And he hits it hard past the third baseman. And the runner will hold up a third. Runners at the corners. Base hit by Davis is the second of the inning and the fourth of the game already with the Tigers. And Garrett Lester will bat. With the runners at the corners and one away. Back to the top of the order. Center fielder Garrett Lester. Pitch is a strike to Garrett Lester. on the count to Lester. Runners at first and third, and he takes it on the inside corner. That's strike two. And Lester's in the hole. Nolan Coble at third. He singled with one out. Went to second base on an air and pickoff throw and then advanced to third on a hard hit single by Ryder Davis. And there's a ground ball up the middle. Could be two. They throw to second for one. That's all they're going to get with Lester Your speeding down side. the line. They get the Four force out. Second base of Ryder Davis. That's an RBI ground out for Garrett Lester. And Davis is retired 6-4. So the force out at second is the second out of the inning. And Lester is down there at first base now with two away. And we're entering the heart of the order with Devin Hughes, the number two hitter coming up. Lester at first on the field. And the throw over to Lester, uh, to, to the first baseman as Lester dives back in. For Republic. Shortstop, Devin Hughes. Cody Gibson back up on top of the mound. Looks in, gets a sign. First pitch to Hughes is out of the strike zone, ball one. And there goes Lester, and it was a balk. That's a base hit, but he called the balk already. Devin Hughes is, Devin Hughes is like, hey, I had a single, but the balk was called first. So Hughes hit a line drive to left field, and it doesn't count. But he's got a runner in scoring position. Let's see if he can do it again. If he hits that again, Lester may score from second base. That pitch is a ball. And the count is one ball, one strike. Two and oh. And there's a shot up the line it's going to go foul he really turned on that one and it went pretty far into the teeth of the wind three nothing lead early for the tigers trying to get back above 500 they are three and three coming into this one swing and a foul back to the screen Stolen base. Well, my graphic third. randomly popped up, and I was trying to get rid of it. And Lester stole third before I could get the camera over there on it. Now 
fill you in. He was safe. So Lester's at third base now. There he is. And Hughes could drive him home here with a two-out something. And there's a fly ball into center. Easy for the center fielder. Range is over. And Cole Smith makes the catch. Hughes flies out to center for the second time today. But the Tigers scored a run. On two base hits. They left one on. There was an error. And at the end of two, Republic leads it 3 0. We'll take a break and be back with the third after this timeout. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sport. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel. They've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Harris Pizza brings a slice of history to your table. Since 1961, their blend of handcrafted dough, rich sauces, and a variety of fresh toppings cooked in an authentic brick oven offers a unique dining experience. Explore their menu at arispizzapalace.com or drop into the Wildwood Plaza on Highway 60. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnegar Advantage. Tough customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnegar Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnegar family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnegarChevrolet.com. Bryson Earp singles to right field to lead off the third inning. And he's at first as Braylon Banks comes to the plate for Skyatook. Bulldogs looking for their first run. Ryder Davis back on the mound. Showed butt, squared around, but pulled it back. Pulled it back, and that one missed. Ryder Davis, not sure where it missed. Must have been inside. That was not far off. And that one missed as well. Ball three. Davis not far off that inside corner, but not quite catching it. And it's a 3-0 count to Braylon Banks. Banks is the number eight hitter in the order. And he takes it in the dirt, ball four. And the first two batters have reached for Skyato here in the third. Second. And it brings in Cole Smith, the center fielder. And the Bulldog batter, center fielder number two, Cole Smith. Gets away from Woods, and everybody's going to move up a base. Runners advance. Right so a wild third. pitch Bray by Banks Woods sends Earp to third and Banks to second.
one count. And the next one is off the outside corner. That's ball three. And the wind is just really whipping around. And I think that might be bothering Davis. It's got to be hard to lift that one foot up there and keep from blowing over sideways when it's blowing like this. And there's a grounder through the right side. That's a base hit into right field. One run scores. The other runner Single banks right, holds at hits. second. RBI by Cooper Ward, and it brings in Trey Vaughn. Back to the top of the order for the Bulldogs, left fielder Cooper Wood. Oh, that was, I said Cooper Wood with the single. It was Cole Smith, who singled, I've gone to the top of my score sheet. So he gets the RBI, and Cooper Wood is batting now. And a little bunt up the line, and that almost did hit the lip of the grass and roll back fair. Woods alertly got there and picked it up before it spun around, and that would have been a bad deal for the Tigers. Runners at first and third. Braylon Banks at third, Cole Smith at first. And Cooper Ward, the leadoff hitter in the lineup, is batting. Still nobody out here in the third. They show bunt. It's a fastball, and the throw down is over the head of Hughes into center field, and here comes the runner. Throw into center field. Scoring. The error on Woods allows Braylon Banks to score. It's a stolen base for Cole Smith. So he's at second base with nobody out, and it's three to two. And a fastball high. back to the screen. One ball, two strikes. The count to Cooper Ward. Trayvon on deck. Ward singled his first time up and then was forced out at second as part of a 6-3 double play. And there's a swing and a miss, a strikeout. Davis records the first out of this third inning, and that's his first strikeout of the night. And Trayvon will bat. Vaughn is the one who grounded into that double play. Back in the first inning. That's with a runner at second base and loops it foul just beyond the third base back. Landed about three or four feet foul over there. No balls, one strike. And inside, one and one. Cole Bray is waiting to hit. And that pitch is high. Two and one. Davis had shown good control early, but this inning it has departed a little bit, and that one fouled back out of play off to the left side. Two balls, two strikes to Trayvon. And calls strike three. Second strike out of the inning. And Davis trying to work his way out of trouble here. First pitch of strike, so Davis has found the strike zone a little bit. And he takes it. 
takes the strike. Bray in the hole 0-2. Davis went from not being able to find the strike zone to filling it up, and he's one strike away from getting out of this inning with Republic still on top, and that one inside. Cole Bray spins away from it, and the count is one and two. Brown ball foul outside of third. Coble gets it, but it was about a foot outside the line. And there's a swing and a ground ball, and that one is fair for Coble. Fires it across the diamond to Harrington, and that ends the inning. Coble to Harrington ends the inning. Skya took scored two runs on two base hits. There was also a walk, and they have closed to within a run. But the Tigers still on top 3-2 as we go to the bottom of the third. We'll be back after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Heinz Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Heinz Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Ready to go in the bottom of the third inning. And the highlight of the day so far for me has been that Steve Rackley just retrieved my coat from the car because I didn't have it. I didn't need it when the game started. But temperature has dropped like crazy. The wind has picked up and I'm freezing up here. But now I've got my coat. And there's a swing and a grounder by Harrington. Scooped up. And across, and Harrington retired. Cole Bray made the play at shortstop. And the first hitter of the inning is retired for the Tigers. Brings in Jackson Overstreet. Cody Gibson. That one's a strike. One ball, one strike to Overstreet. He grounded out, unassisted to the first baseman. It's the first time. Chops it up the middle. That is past the second baseman into center field for a one-out single for Jackson Overstreet. And it brings in Wyatt Woods. Woods singled his first time, stole second base, was stranded in the first. Batting for Republic catcher Wyatt Woods.
ball to third. They've got the force out at second. They turn and Woods is down past the back safely. But Overstreet is forced at second base. As Woods reaches on the fielder's choice with two away now. Brett Hendrickson. Hendrickson flew out to right field. Brett Hendrickson. Back in the first inning. And he hits it hard into left field. That's going to get into the gap, and Woods may score on this. It's going to go all the way to the fence, or at least to the track. Woods does round third, and he comes in to score. And Hendrickson with another big hit for the Tigers. And RBI double drives in Woods, and it extends the lead to two at four to two. Boy, Hendrickson is off to a great start this season. And Cooper Pilkington will bat. And he takes the fastball for a strike. Pitch from Gibson is on the way, and a curveball stayed high. One ball, one strike to Cooper Pilkington. Pilkington struck out his first time. And a line drive into center field. That is going to drop in front of the center fielder. Goes off his glove, and that's going to bring in Hendrickson. Now the throw into second, not in time, and that's an RBI for Pilkington, and he gets to second base. So it's an RBI single by Cooper Pilkington. He advances on the error by the center fielder to second base, and he's in scoring position now for Nolan Koval. Nolan he hits it high into left field, and the wind right catches it, left. hangs it up. He hit it pretty well, but that wind just knocked it right back into where the left fielder was standing. Koval is retired on the fly out to left, and that ends the inning. But the Tigers score a couple of runs on two base Koval. hits. For the Tigers here the there was an error, and they left another runner on base. And at the end of three, they lead it by three, five to two. We'll take a break and be back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Recently, Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing.
It'll be the four, five, and six hitters due up for Skyatuk, Jake Blaylock, Barrett Hinton, and Jaden Orth. They went one, two, three in that order. Back in the second inning. Davis will try to do it again. The first pitch is a strike to Jake Blaylock. Next one on the way, and that's grounded weakly up the third baseline. It's going to go foul, and it's 0-2 to Blaylock. Well, Davis had a couple of hitters where he kind of struggled with his control, and then he got locked back in, and ever since then, he got right through that inning after the first three batters reached and then set down the next three, and now a two-strike count on Jake Blaylock. And a check swing. It was in the dirt. Did he go? No. Umpire says he did not swing. Everybody who showed up late for this game is bundled up like it's winter. Everybody who got here early is wrapped up in whatever they could find <laughs> in their car to keep warm. And there's a ground ball to Carter Nation and Blaylock retired. And anybody who had an extra coat in the car has been entreated by a friend to please go out and get it so they don't freeze to death. It is amazing how much the temperature has changed since yeah, this game started. Barrett Hinton bats. He grounded out to short his last time, and he takes a strike. And Ryder Davis continues to deal strikes here after the brief blip in the third inning. That one's a ball, just barely missed, one and one. Swing and a foul back into the parking lot. One ball, two strikes. And that one just inside. Two and two. Swing and a fly ball into the gap. And Hendrickson gets back and makes the catch. That one got knocked down by the wind a little bit too, I think. Hendrickson made the catch. Two gone. And Jade North will bat. North grounded out to Carter Nation at second, his first time up. And a swing and a miss. Kind of a funny swing there by Orth. Kind of got a late swing, like he decided at the last minute to offer at it. Now he leans back from one inside. One ball, one strike. It was the bottom of the order that did the damage for Skya took, and there's a swing and a miss. He threw it by Orth. That's two strikes. And Davis is one strike away from ending this inning. And he does on a curveball. Ball is in the dirt. They throw down to first. Harrington steps on the bag. And Orth is retired. Third strike out of the game for Ryder Davis. And he sets down the middle part of the lineup in order for the second time today. Tigers on top 5-2. We'll be back after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. Com. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-80. Vision Health Eye Center. Outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit VisionHealthEyeCenter.com. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. 
Ryder Davis, the pitcher for the Tigers, will lead things off here in the bottom of the fourth inning. It'll be Davis, Lester, and Hughes. If anybody gets on, Trace Harrington. The first pitch is a ball to Ryder Davis as Cody Gibson is back out there for his fourth inning. Outside, ball two. Tigers scored two runs in the first inning, one in the second, two in the third. They'd like to add on a couple more or more here in the fourth that Davis calls a timeout. That pitch is a ball, and that's ball three. Davis single his first time up. Was forced at second base on a ground ball by Lester. And the 3 0 pitch taking all the way. It's a called strike. And ball four. That one was high. Davis is on for the second time. And back to the top of the order, Garrett Lester. Lester walked in the first, stole second base, came around to score. And in the second, he grounded into a force out, advanced to second on a balk, and then stole third where he was stranded. And we've got a visit to the mound, and I think we're going to have a new pitcher. Looks like it's going to be Mason Birch, number 13, entering the game. For Skyatook. Now pitching for Skyatook, number 13, Mason Birch. Birch is a sophomore, and he'll get warmed up, and while he does, I'll take a break. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Elliott Robinson & Company LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliott Robinson & Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza, across from Pinnegar Chevrolet. Or find them online at ERCPA.com. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call far better and let them. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at roccositaliankitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's Pizza pasta, perfection, and tiger spirit. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at roccositaliankitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's Pizza, pasta, perfection, and tiger spirit. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for... Garrett Lester leading, or not leading off, but batting for the first uh, appearance against the new pitcher, Mason Birch. And it's quickly a 2-0 count to Lester. Ryder Davis down at first base. Takes a ball, and that's ball three.
Three and one to Lester, and that one missed outside, ball four. So two walks to open the fourth inning, and Devin Hughes will come to the plate for the Tigers. And Hughes grounds it through the hole on the left side. And they're going to send the runner. Here comes Davis. It gets away from the fielder. And everybody moves up a base. So Hughes singles. That's an RBI. Everybody moved up a base on that. Uh, except Davis, who advanced all the way in to score. And then an error. Hughes going to second on the box from the end. Allows Hughes and Lester to advance. Don't think that would have happened if the ball hadn't gotten away. So runners at second and third because of the error instead of first and second. And now here comes Trace Harrington. First pitch to Harrington is a ball outside. First baseman, Trace Harrington. Harrington singled, came in to score, had an RBI in the first inning, grounded out to short. In the second, in the third, and now batting here the fourth. And a swing and a pop foul out of play. Well, I got my coat a couple of innings ago, and it was nice and toasty for a few minutes, and now even with the coat, it's starting to get kind of chilly again. Only the hardiest of fans are out there right now. That ball fouled over toward the Republic dugout on the third base side by Harrington. One ball and two strikes is the count. And in fact, where I'm sitting, I'm a little bit shielded from the wind. I mean, it whips around here a little bit, but sitting on the bleachers has got to be a lot worse. There's a pop-up on the infield. And it gets blown all the way over into foul territory before it's caught by the first baseman, number 22, Bryson Earp. So Harrington fouls out. And I think that ball was, if there was no wind, I think that would have been pretty much to the pitcher's mound. And it ended up about 10 feet foul. Gives you an idea of how hard it's blowing. Jackson Overstreet comes to the plate. And takes a strike. Overstreet is one for two. And a curveball just missed inside. That was a good pitch, but missed the corner. Had a lot of break on it. And that's a good, that's good, uh, knowledge of the strike zone to be able to lay off that pitch too. A lot of guys would realize it's dropping in and kind of take a weak swing and panic. But Overstreet laid off it. And now he takes one outside. And it's two and one. And a line drive right back up the middle. One runner is going to score, and they're going to try and score both. We may have a play at the plate, and no, we don't, because Devin Hughes got in there before the throw, and it's a two-RBI single by Jackson Overstreet. Lester from third, Hughes from second. 
over street. Drives in Garrett Lester and Devin Hughes. And he takes second base on the throw. On the two RBI double by Overstreet. So Overstreet at second base now. Three runs in in the inning. And now Wyatt Woods will bet. Leadoff walk to Davis and then a follow-up walk to Garrett Lester. Then a single by Hughes. Uh, pop out. And there's a ground ball to short. Throw across, and it's in time to get Woods. That's the second out of the inning. Runner over street advances to third base. And now Brett Hendrickson bats. And as soon as I said that about the wind, it has shifted and is coming straight in from center field. Right in my face and I was right it is a lot colder in the wind with <laughs> anybody on the bleachers has got to be really cold right now own one to pit Owen one to count to Hendrickson runner at third two away and he pops it foul over toward the parking lot So Hendrickson in the hole, 0-2. 8-2 the score. Tigers on top by six runs here in the fourth. That pitch in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes now as that one goes outside. And a grounder over the head of the pitcher. Second baseman gets it. Had trouble getting it out of his glove, but throws over in time to retire Hendrickson and in the end, boy, Hendrickson almost beat that one out. But a couple of ground outs in succession ends the inning. The Tigers score three runs. There were a couple of walks, two base hits, and one error. They left another runner on base. We go to the fifth. Tigers on top, 8-2. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. Your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel, they've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Harris Pizza brings a slice of history to your table. Since 1961, their blend of handcrafted dough, rich sauces, and a variety of fresh toppings cooked in an authentic brick oven offers a unique dining experience. Explore their menu at arispizzapalace.com or drop into the Wildwood Plaza on Highway 60. Ready to go in the fifth inning, and Bryson Earp will lead things off. He singled and scored his last time up, his only time up. And the first pitch from Ryder Davis. Strike. Here comes the next one. And a 
grounder foul outside of third. So the count quickly 0-2 on Bryson Earp. Earp was the beneficiary of that brief wild spell by Davis. And Earp watches that one go into the dirt. One ball, two strikes. Earp didn't walk, but he singled, and partly because Davis got behind in the count. And that one bounces up there. It's two and two. And then Davis then walked Braylon Banks. And both of those runners came in to score. Two balls, two strikes. The count to Bryson Earp, and he pops it up in foul territory. Trace Harrington, a valiant effort, but with the wind blowing in that direction, no way he was going to get there. So the count stays two and two on Bryson Earp. Banks on deck. Cole Smith will bat third in this inning. If anybody gets on, back to the top of the order in Cooper Ward. Davis is back up there. And another pop-up foul. That time, Trace Harrington doesn't bother. That one was a little further out of play. Bounces across the parking lot in front of a car that was making its way that direction. Here's another 2-2 pitch, and a curveball hit him. So Earp reaches on the hit-by-pitch. He's on to lead off the inning, just like he did in the third. He reaches from the leadoff spot in the fifth. And Braylon Banks will come to bat. First pitch to Banks is outside, ball one. Ball two. And ball three. So same batters, same issue for Ryder Davis. It's like he gets to Earp and Banks and his control leaves him. Hopefully it'll come back soon, like it did last time. Three and all the count. To Braylon Banks, and he takes one right down the middle. That's a strike. Ryder Davis has thrown 64 pitches. 40 of them are strikes. Now 65 and 41. And there's a little looper into right field. Overstreet was playing shallow and makes the catch. Easy play for Overstreet. And it brings in Cole Smith, the center fielder. Joe Bunt takes a strike. Smith singled and stole a base his last time up. Sky took batter center fielder Cole Smith. That one's in the dirt. Ball two. They're ball one. One and one the count. One away. Fifth inning. Tigers on top. Eight to two. Eight runs, nine hits, one error for Republic. Two runs, three hits, two errors. For Skya Took and a swing and a miss by Cole Smith, and he's behind on the count one and two. Davis wouldn't mind a strikeout, but what he'd prefer to that is a nice, gentle ground ball to one of the middle infielders. And there it is. Hughes gets it, steps on the bag, and that's all he can get because Hughes had already crossed over and had to reverse field. I don't know if Nation would have had it. But I almost think if Nation had fielded it, he might have been able to step on second base. Yeah, I think that would have been a double play if Nation had fielded it, but Hughes got there first. Stepped on the bag. And 
and Smith reaches on the fielder's choice. Two away now for the leadoff hitter in the lineup, Cooper Ward. Uh, unless this is not Cooper Ward. No, it's not. Umpire turned around and looked. And it's, or Cooper Wood rather, it's Sean Phelps pinch hitting. First pitch to Phelps is a strike. And he swings and misses, waves at one outside. That's strike two. So a quick 0-2 count on the pinch hitter, Sean Phelps, batting in place of Cooper Wood. And a foul out of play, again, into the parking lot. Swing and a miss. Breaking ball. Woods will throw down to first to Harrington to finish the out. And Ryder Davis gets the strikeout. His fourth. It ends the inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. It's 8-2 Republic. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. Cooper Pilkington will lead things off for Republic. He singled his last time and he hits it hard to center field and the wind is going to blow it toward the gap and that's a long run and it's going to, oh, it blew all the way over to the right fielder. I, and you didn't see it because I didn't switch the camera. I was trying to figure out where the ball was. So the right fielder caught it. The center fielder looked like it was headed to him. And that wind is blowing toward right. And I was watching the center fielder, and he never gave any indication that he was about to pick up the ball. I glanced over to the right, and there was a right fielder making the catch. There's a swing and a shot into left, and the wind knocked it down, and a diving play as Nolan Coble is retired. Hits it to left field for the second time in a row, and he's retired on the first pitch. So Pilkington and Coble both retired, and now Cooper Davis or Ryder Davis will bat, and he takes the ball. Two and zero now to Davis, and 
and he takes a strike. Three balls, one strike now to Ryder Davis. Garrett Lester on deck if Davis can reach, and he skies it into center field. And I actually think he hit it to left, and the center fielder caught it. Same thing happened, only one slot over in the outfield. It's a quick one, two, three inning, and I think everybody is probably satisfied with that, even the Tigers at this rate, the way the temperature is dropping. They're up 8-2, and they'll try to keep it there when Ryder Davis returns to the mound or someone returns to the mound after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's, pizza, pasta, perfection, and tiger spirit. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit laurieandelizabeth.reesnichols.com, your seasoned real estate teammates. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. Your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. Suspected when I saw Kurt Plotner walking toward the infield with a piece of paper in his hand that he had a lineup change, and he did indeed. New pitcher is Ethan Anderson coming in relief of Ryder Davis. And Anderson warmed up, and then he went back to the dugout for some reason. Now he's back out. I don't know if he, he's kind of glancing down at his glove, so I don't know if he had a glove issue or what was going on, but he'll step back out there and try and finish this one off with hopefully two quick innings of work. Trayvon, Cole Bray, and Jake Blaylock, the two, three, and four hitters in the lineup for Skyatook will come to the plate against Anderson. The first pitch is off the plate, ball one. Good fastball from Anderson. Ball two. Swing and a foul. Out of play. Two balls, one strike to Trayvon. Vaughn grounded out to shortstop his first time up and then struck out looking back in the third inning. Batting now to lead off the sixth and his team trailing eight to two. Next pitch from Anderson is a fastball, late swing by Vaughn, and it's two balls, two strikes. Swing and a foul, 
back to the screen. Another 2-1 pitch, or a, there's a ground ball right back up the middle. I said 2-1, but the count was wrong on the scoreboard. That's going to be an infield single, knocked down by the middle infielders, but Trayvon reaches base to lead off the inning. And he'll be at first base for Cole Bray. Bray, the shortstop, has grounded up twice. Middle infielders now are Hughes, still a shortstop, but Ryder Davis, who was pitching, has moved over to second base. So Carter Nation is done. Unless, well, no. Yeah, he is. I was going to say maybe Carter Nation had slid over to third, but I looked and no, Coble is still over there. There's a fly ball toward the line, blown way over into foul territory. That should have been a routine fly ball to right, and it landed about 20 feet foul. And Jackson Overstreet just kept running and running, and it was like one of those bad dreams where the ball just kept drifting further and further away from him. So it's nothing but a strike to Cole Bray. Grounded out to second, grounded out to third. And that one is a fastball that gets away from Woods and down to second base. Goes Trayvon on the wild pitch. Fastball's high. Two and one. And there's a fly ball. Over street is over, and it blew out of the range of the camera. Makes the catch, though. That's the first out of the inning. And Jake Blaylock comes to the plate. Blaylock over two. Grounded back to the pitcher and then grounded out to second. And he bats now with one out and a runner, Trayvon, at second base. And they try the pickoff. Back up on top of the mound. Comes set, checks the runner, and pitches. And a fastball is high. One of the no. Barrett Hinton is on deck, the designated hitter for Sky Took. And that one hit. Jake Blaylock hit him in the head, and he'll trot down to first base. The fastball got away from Anderson, and now there are two on with one out for Barrett Hinton. They're going to check on Blaylock down there at first. Looks like he's okay. and grounded out to short in the second inning. Flew out to left in the fourth. And the first pitch to him is high from Anderson. Ball one on the fastball. Swing and a miss, an off-speed pitch. 
evens the count, one and one. And a fastball just missed inside. Two balls, one strike. Straight back to the screen, makes it two and two. And the two two pitch is a fastball, he blew it by him. That's a strikeout. The first for Anderson, and it's the second out of the inning. Brings in Jade North. North was a strikeout victim of Ryder Davis his last time up. He's 0 for 2. Grounded out to second, in the second, and he takes a pitch on the outside corner, a fastball. That's strike one. Runner at second is Trey Vaughn. Runner at first is Jake Blaylock. Sky took trying to cut into an 8-2 lead and a swing and a miss, a late swing by Orth. And he's behind on the count, 0-2. And, and Anderson trying to get out of this inning. Right here. Fastball missed high. One ball, two strikes. Anderson can get it up there in a hurry. He threw that last fastball right by him. See if he can do it again. That one low. Woods mishandled it. Evens the count two and two. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. That ends the inning. Two strikeouts in a row. For Anderson, and Skyatuk puts two runners on but fails to score. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It's 8-2 Tigers. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit laurieandelizabeth.reesnichols.com, your seasoned real estate teammates. Welcome back. I escaped to the uh, the balmy climbs of the press box for about a minute there. Try and warm myself in between innings. 
Garrett Lester is leading things off for the Tigers. And the count is two and two. And that one just missed. And, uh, well, credit the integrity of the home plate umpire on that because I'd have been throwing the hand up and calling the strike because I, I he's got to be as cold as everybody else and Lester draws the walk. So Lester is on to lead off the inning, and here comes Devin Hughes. Batting for Republic shortstop, Devin Hughes. I think I said earlier that all but the oh, there's a ground ball to third. Throw across is going to be in time to get Hughes. Lester is going to advance to second. I was going to say earlier that I had mentioned that only the hardiest fans were here. Even some of the hardy fans have gone home. And now Trace Harrington. Harrington's one for three. He's got a run scored. He's got a chance to drive in a run with Lester down at second. And he takes a strike on one. Mason Birch pitching his second inning since coming in in release of relief of Cody Gibson. And a fly ball to right center field. That's pretty deep. And just in front of the track, it's going to be caught. So Harrington is retired. Lester advances to third. And Jackson Overstreet will bat. Overstreet has a couple of hits already. And he takes an off-speed breaking pitch for a strike. That was a good pitch by Mason Birch. Overstreet drove home a couple of runs with a base hit his last time up in the fourth. And that was the last scoring that occurred in this game. Watches it go outside. One and one. said earlier this was Birch's second inning of work. It's his third inning he's been out there. And he left it a little bit low. So he's worked two and two-thirds, given up two runs on two base hits. He's walked a couple, has not struck out about it. Three and one the count to Overstreet, and he hits it into center field and that's going to be handled by the center fielder and that's going to end the inning so overstreet is retired the tigers failed to score lester reached on a leadoff walk and he's stranded and we go to the seventh tigers on top eight to two back with the seventh inning after this timeout on republic tiger sports Harris Pizza brings a slice of history to your table. Since 1961, their blend of handcrafted dough, rich sauces, and a variety of fresh toppings cooked in an authentic brick oven offers a unique dining experience. Explore their menu at arispizzapalace.com or drop into the Wildwood Plaza on Highway 60. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel. They've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. 
Your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. Introduce your young child to sweet peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. Ethan Anderson back out there trying to finish things off for the Tigers. Second inning of work for him, and he'll have Bryson Earp, Braylon Banks, and Cole Smith. They're the bottom three in the order, but they've really done the most damage today. They were responsible. Earp and Banks scored the only two runs of the game. First guy it took back in the third, and Cole Smith drove him in. Earp was hit by a pitch his second time, so he's singled and been hit by a pitch he swings and misses and it's one ball one strike and a swing and a miss two and two or one and two rather Takes a fastball low. Counts even two and two. And he ducks under a pitch inside. Ball three. And Ethan Anderson in danger of walking the leadoff hitter here. On top by six runs. Come set comes the next one from Ethan Anderson and it's a fastball fouled back to the screen so Earp stays alive the difference in the wind and out of the wind is absolutely phenomenal because the wind had slightly shifted so that it was not coming around the press box here and getting me and there's a ball four lead off walk So it had briefly shifted, but now you can hear on the microphone that it is now blowing right back at me. And, I mean, it is cold when the wind is on you. Those players are just right out there in it. And the Republic dugout is somewhat shielded from that wind. So I know they're cold over there, but the wind is really coming mostly from behind the dugout. It is blowing right in the face of that visitor's dugout over there where Skyatook is. They have got to be really cold. And we're going to have a pinch hitter. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Jordy Kaufman is the pinch hitter. And he swings and misses. Owen won the count to Jordy Kaufman. That one outside. One ball, one strike. Cole Smith on deck for the Bulldogs. Swing and a miss. That one popped up foul into the parking lot.
count remains one and two. You look at Ryder Davis, the second baseman there, number two in the foreground. You can just see his, his uniform. You can see it rippling because the wind is blowing so hard. That pitch is high, two and two. three that one's high and you can see two behind home plate I mean there's nobody back there it's like this is Friday night game and normally seats would be maybe not full but pretty populated and there's a swing and a grounder Hughes gets the backhand throws it to second for the force and then they throw to first and almost got him what a pick over there at short by Devin Hughes to get the force out, and he got rid of that in a hurry, too, to beat the runner down to second. I mean, look at the exchange from glove to hand by Devin Hughes. That was fantastic. And they get the lead runner. Kaufman reaches on the fielder's choice. And Cole Smith will bat. Well, that's one of the best plays we've seen Devin Hughes make. It wasn't you know, didn't have to stretch out and dive for it, but just to get the ball out of the glove and into his hand and then to make that throw with some velocity on it and get it to Davis for the force out. And, in fact, Davis, with the quick turn, almost managed to get Kaufman on what was essentially a weak ground ball into the hole. And there's a call strike, and that's strike three. So Cole Smith is retired. Cole Smith down on for the Three straight strikes from Ethan Anderson. And here comes the leadoff hitter in the lineup as Skya took down to its last out. Sean Phelps, who came into the game in the fifth and struck out, takes a ball from Anderson. Kaufman at first base, two away, seventh inning. Tigers on top, 8-2, and Anderson's next pitch is a strike, a foul, one and one. Fastball high. Two balls, one strike. That pitch a ball, and oh, they almost had the runner. The runner got way off first base over there. And Woods might have been able to throw behind him, but I don't think Harrington was close enough to the bag to make the throw worthwhile. Three and one to count. And a fastball is a strike. Phelps thought he might have walked. And if Anderson puts it anywhere close, I think this game will be over. He's got a 3-2 count. There goes the runner. It's fouled back. So I was a little overconfident. <laughs> and we got to do another pitch. Two runs, four hits, three errors for Skyatook. Eight runs, nine hits, one error, and that ball hit the umpire. And it's a dead ball. Everybody's going to be safe. So that's a hit. I think that might have gone through anyway. But it hit the umpire, and the Tigers did not get the chance to Get the out. So first and second now for Trayvon. Swing and a miss by Vaughn. Vaughn grounded out to shortstop in the first inning. 
He struck out looking in the third, and he singled and was stranded in the sixth. Now batting in the seventh. He's the last hope for now for Skyatook. Two outs in the seventh, and the pitch is a ball. It's one and one to Trayvon. Fastball is high. Two and one. And three and one. Here's the next one from Anderson, and he missed outside, ball four. So the bases are loaded. Second walk of the inning. And Cole Bray, the number three hitter in the order, comes to the plate. He's 0 for 3, 4, 3, grounded out to second his first time up, then grounded out to third, then he flew out to Hendrickson. And he bats against Anderson. And he lines it into right field and over to make the catch is Overstreet, and that is going to do it. So Overstreet makes the catch. Bray is retired, and the game is over. Tigers win it 8-2. to two. I'll take a break and be back to wrap up the broadcast after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Tigers scored two runs in the first inning, one in the second. They led it 3 nothing. Skya took got on the board with two in the top of the third. That made it 3-2. to two. The Tigers... Got those back in the bottom half of the inning. That made it 5-2. to two. They added three more in the fourth. That makes it 8-2, to two, and that's where it ended. They closed them down from there. Winning pitcher is Ryder Davis. He worked five innings, allowed three hits, one earned run, two runs total. He struck out four, walked one. Ethan Anderson came in in relief, worked two innings, walked two, struck out three, allowed two hits. Tigers had eight runs, nine hits, one error. Skya took two runs, five hits, three errors. Tigers improved to four and three. Skya took falls to five and nine. That's going to do it from Republic. I'm going to wrap it up and get out of this wind. Thanks for watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports.